Oh, good afternoon, everybody. We are, I think we're going to be finishing this game today. Pretty sure we're going to be finishing this game today. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I need to get like a thing so I can better roll this, this chair of mine so I'm not fighting it. All right. Uh, I don't think we need to do any kind of training or anything like that. Um, Tenchi's level 38. Sento's 36. Tenchi was going to be murdering everybody anyway. Uh, let's see. Magnus is level 37. I feel like that's good. I don't think we have to do any training. If you guys are level 30. I think we're fine. I think we're, I think we're just going to go for it. Kind of near the end of the game anyway. I'm going to save it because I always do. And let's get started. Puppy's exhausted from her walk. Scene 39. Pressure. Richard, those revolutionary bastards killed Thaumas. So I am reading a book here? What are you doing here, Baldwin? You have no time to waste on such matters. Do you not realize that? Oh, we, we, I'm sorry, we have no time to waste on such matters. Return to your post. Prepare to engage the revolutionary army. But Richard, Thaumas. I will not repeat myself again. Baldwin, don't get yourself killed. You must come back alive. There are still things that you need to do. Understood? Thamuz, forgive me for my incompetence. Your death will not be in vain. We will acquire the ultimate power and make our order immortal. Our beloved Caliganus Order will be succeeded by Baldwin, holder of the ultimate power. Watch over us, Thaumas. I will join you soon. So he knows he's going to die. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, chair. We're not going to play this game today. There we go. This is the current situation. Keep it in mind. Downsides of me moving up here where like I have no traction to wheel. I have to like, get like a thing so I can wheel my chair around. Let's get started. Hope Hopedale, the land of enlightenment, will be our embarkation point for this campaign. Our destination is capital Castle Talpe, a half day north of Hopedale. Our goal is to liberate the strongholds around Castle Talpe and then strike Castle Talpe itself. It appears that this region is occupied by only a few enemy troops. Something is not right. If they know we're here, why don't their defenses reflect it? I suspect they're up to something. Okay. There aren't many officers left in the Caliganus Order. I believe two are left. Sir Richard, their leader, and his brother, Baldwin. They're, they are both powerful knights of the Holy Lotus Empire. And Magnus isn't gonna ta say or talk or do anything about that. Okay, winning, entering the enemy headquarters. Oh, that's right, this is a, oh. This is gonna be like a two mission. We had to siege this place once before. I have a feeling we're going to have to do that again. Okay. So we have a village down there. Um, if we've learned anything from previously, uh, we might actually end up losing that town, and I don't want to lose that town. Because, I mean, I'm sure our chaos frame is fine, but uh, we definitely want to maybe send somebody immediately there last time we had a town and it wasn't like that was like Anxeth was in the town but sent Tenchi uh, we have 
Oh yeah, see, they're going right down there. Let's see if we can get Sento over here to intercept them. Oh, they're not all going over there. Spike, Buzz, and Duncan. I also got Willy. But I do, I do see him going down there. I don't want to lose that town. Um, let's do this. Sento's not gonna be able to intercept them, so we'll put Sento here. Sento's gonna get a beating, looks like. Is that if that town falls, then we have to spend we have to get four liberations in order to nullify it, so. Almost wiped the whole unit out on one one move. Oh, we had a so we had a staff we could have probably given. Sent oh well, well, I guess we'll have to wait for the next one. Right, let's see if we can get Tenshi to. Uh... Get into a decent spot here. Okay, let's have Magnus. Whoops. Back for him. Try not to lose this town. Good crit. 200 damage. Jeez. Good block. I got my afternoon cup of coffee. I mean, this is level 28. That's fine. That's good. Oh, no. He doesn't know where he's going. All right, Tenchi. Get him. first. These skeletons hit hard. Good dodge. Another good dodge. Together now. Or not. Getting some bubbles off anyway. Tenji. And once we secure this town, we'll have Tenji kind of go north. Sendo's gonna have to go back to town to like rest up for a little bit. And 
then we'll start to start to advance. Tenji's even gaining levels. Beautiful. Might as well go here. Oh, let's actually have Sento go back here so he can rest. We'll get we'll let Magnus deal with this. All right, so we've got 79. So 79, oof, that is, um... I want to say we need to send Leia at that. 35, we got Ansvel, Sento. Uh, Leia. So we got two for Leia. I think that's it. Yeah, there's only a couple of them. Okay, so we're going to have, once Sento's recovered, we'll have Sento and Leia go that way. Meanwhile, we'll have the rest of our fighting force push north. I only want him to go here so I can do this. I didn't expect Prince Yummel would be the chosen one. There must be some reason. Yes. There must have been. I believe in him. I know you do, too. Let's hurry. It's time to end the revolution. Yeah, Tenchi, it's time to end the revolution. Get to it. Sigmund. We're gonna let Sento rest for a little bit. Out like a light. We went on a pretty long walk this afternoon. Or, well, earlier this morning we went for a nice long walk. In fact, I'm actually going to have... You might, you might actually might, you might hear her uh, crying in her sleep here. Or, like, chasing a rabbit or however you want to say it. I'm actually going to send Leia over here to liberate this town since Sento needs to rest. They all have the same unit comp. Good block. I 
Nice crit. I could block. We'll send Coven down for that other unit that was, uh, whose leader is done. Nice block. There was some pretty, pretty good blocking during this, uh, first map here. down here. Nope, nope, you were supposed to go to the town, sorry. Why you stream while I work? Unfair. <laughs> what are you doing watching Twitch while you're working? There are only two members of the Collegonous Order left, but be careful. The old leader's son is still alive. I'm sure you can handle him. Please survive. You're our only hope. Oh, you got called in. A room got super hot. I mean, it's not that hot outside so I mean that's good so just like the AC unit went down or something hope you got a bunch of units coming from the north ah yeah that'll do it that will definitely do it you want to try your luck at Paula huh okay good luck Come on, greater than 10. A 12. Ooh, that's a good crit, too. A 2. There's two. There's two. Forget about this. That's right. Forget about that. Look at... Where is she? Look at that. Look at that right there. That's what we look at. best role and it's almost like wherever she is laying it like kind of works out like there really has well there really hasn't been a spot where she's laid down where like the angles bad or anything yeah, that was the best role i mean i'm kind of still somewhat in the shot but mostly she is that was a good hit Went for a walk. We actually, uh, get, uh... That one dog that I had mentioned that always gets away from those kids. Got away from those kids again. And so she came, that little pup came over and said hi. So, thankfully Naomi is not a, uh... You know, I can control her. <laughs> I can hang... She's strong, but, uh... I can at least um, hang on to her. 
but I'm getting real tired of those kids. They really gotta learn how to hang on to that dog. And it's not even a, it's not a big dog either. It's a small dog, it has no power. And what was funny is we had, there, there was this lady in front of me who was walking her dogs and like I've seen her before, she walks these two smaller dogs. She will uh, go to great lengths to avoid getting anywhere near other people or other dogs. And uh, let's see, what was this town need? Oh, it needs Sento. Sento's actually going to be going south here. It goes, uh, goes to great lengths to avoid other dogs. And she was like, she was saying something to this kid while he was walking this dog. And I think I didn't hear most of the conversation, but at the end of the conversation went something like, she's not going to get out of her collar, is she? And I'm assuming the kid said no. She crosses the street. My plan is, because he doesn't really seem like he knows where he's going. I was going to cross the street and then go like the long way around the park. Right as I get up there. He loses her from the leash. Like, not the collar, the leash. So she's just running around free on her leash. Runs up to me and Naomi. Stares, like, we have a stare down. And then she starts running across the street because this kid's coming running to grab her real quick. And I'm like, I'm just like watching and waiting for this dog to like skirt to the left and go after that lady with her two dogs. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. He did He did eventually get her, but oh my god. I'm like, you know... It's a, that, that dog didn't exactly, like, brute force her way, like, away from him. He just wasn't hanging on to that leash. It's not a powerful dog. So, I don't know. It bugs me when dogs get away from people. Especially because you don't know what kind of a dog that that dog is and my dog is very defensive on a leash so because we've been charged several times in the past but yeah so my the point of my ted talk is if you have a dog hold on to it when you go for a walk don't if you can't control it then don't take it for a walk Or just know where your dog is gonna like be triggered by other people and like do what that other lady does and just avoid people like the plague. I mean, I do that too. I avoid people like the plague for different reasons, but I mean, I still try to avoid people. <laughs> but now we had a good we had a good walk either way. A very tiring walk, uh, obviously. Oh, we need Leia back here. Leia needs to take this town, then we need Anzabel to take the one to the north, Sento to take the one closer to there, and then we'll be good. We'll be all done. Or, well, all done with this map, anyway. Unless we see a crit, I don't see us doing 198 damage here. Oh, but not... I mean, if we do 116, then never mind. And if we do more than 100 damage, then yeah, I guess we will. I think Magnus is now level 38. supposed to do now? Well, you could wait for him to come to you, I guess. Well, I mean, I, I, I suppose Anzabel could actually go through this way. I mean, that, this is pretty uh, secure.
I'll have Tenchi go over here just in case they uh, have like surprise units. Like the last map. Tenchi can wipe them out quickly. Oh, well, I should send us to go up here. What we'll do is we'll send Wolflow over this way just in case something spawns. gonna have to go like clear across the map. Oh we actually should see which um should see which town has the store in it. Should probably buy some more power fruits. Loke of Oath. Oh, that's a little store. Okay. And we're fighting Baldwin next. Liberation. Lotus, the demons, and now you guys. Everybody is gathered in wetness. Will we be sucked into chaos? Is our home going to host the ogre battle? Would you please, please save Prince Yummel's beloved land? I mean, you're talking to a lich, so... I mean, he's a lich on a good, good guy's squad, so I mean... Liberation. Baldwin is a skillful knight, but he's shadowed by his brother's accomplishments. Being a second son myself, I understand how he feels. Oh look, surprise units. Go figure. Where are they going? <laughs> like there's there's river over there. They can't they can't they can't fly, can they? These guys can't fly. Go to sleep. 278 for a crit. That's beautiful. I liked it. That was great. It's fantastic. Nice crit.
a cup of life. We've seen this configuration already. Like four or five times. That's a big crit. Go to sleep. Tenchi has over 300 health. How about that? And crits for 264. Liberation. Our lust will eventually lead us to the darkness. Anger, sadness. We all want to survive, even if it costs the lives of the others. Right, let's grab a bunch of power fruit. by all their power fruits. Cha ching get to her. He's tired, but he did get to her, so. It's just two gremlins, which they're, so this means they're gonna dodge everything. Except for that, and that. boss. Flame leather. Which he's going to camp in a second. So the plan is once we uh, finish the game here, I have a marble race set up to help me decide what I'm going to play next, because I still cannot decide. I've made a list of about 20 different games that I'd be willing to play. Can't decide on um, what to play, so. We're going to do a marble race. We'll have the, fir the whoever the first eight slots will be the deciding games, and then we'll roll an uh, eight-sided die, and we'll see which game it is. It's not going to be who wins the race. It's going to be whatever the dice roll decides. So we're going to do a marble race to determine the eight games that are going to be rolled on, and then that'll decide what we're going to do. That's so we'll decide what we're going to play next. See, is he in a, like, a compromised position on there? Okay. Just making sure we have a clear shot at him.
Foolish souls who dare defy Lotus. You have no future. Your lives end today. Have you lost your pride to align yourselves with the Netherworlders? You won't have your way. You don't understand anything. There really is not much difference between us and them. Besides, they're quite sensible. They've contributed to they've contributed the fruits of the Netherworld and released our power. These were gifts from them. Is Lotus Are you that desperate to rule this world? For Lotus or not, doesn't matter anymore. I won't forgive you for killing Thamas. I'll have my revenge right here. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Good block. Another good dodge. have to use a Pedra. Ooh, he guarded from it too. Nice. Another good dodge. The slippery boy. Please tell me we kill him here. Nope. Oh my god. Damn you. Damn you all! Teleport. <laughs> Hooray, we did it. We got wind armor. Siege the castle. I actually really don't like the sieges. Oh, we have Ogre Blade. Uh -huh. Give Tenchi the armor of death, Ogre Helmet, Ogre Blade. Is there Ogre Armor? We don't we don't have Ogre Armor yet. Oops. Stop that. Celestial Mace is not better. Whoopsie. Cloak of Oath is also not better. But this is better for her, so we'll give that to her. We're good. All right. <laughs> Scene 40, Adversaries.
you were unable to stop the Revolutionary Army. I cannot understand why my own brother could be so incompetent. Do you want Thalmas' death to be for nothing? At least you came back alive. Head for the ruins. I will stop the Revolutionary Army here. Get out of here. I don't want to see your face. I guess we know who the boss is. Their headquarters, Castle Telpe, is our objective. I'm sure you're aware that this battle will take place in the castle. Let's discuss the situation. Allow me to outline our plan for taking the castle. We have built a temporary stronghold south of, south of the castle. Our objective is Castle Talpe, hidden between two castle walls. Our goal is to liberate the castle and prevent the Caliganist Order from going through with their plans. We can't see inside the walls, but I can assume there are many troops inside. We're also limited by there being only one castle gate in the front of the castle. The situation doesn't look good. Be extra careful when breaching the castle gate. Oh, I guess we haven't seen this place before. I might, I must be thinking of some other place. There was another castle we had to siege a while ago. As this battle will be in the castle, legions are useless. Do not worry, Magnus. I've already disbanded the legions for you. Are you ready? Don't get yourself killed. Of course, I'll be back. Solid advice. We, 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 defeat Richard. Victory condition. And we know we know by now what the defeating ones are. <clears throat> Whoopsie. Since we don't have anywhere to liberate, we're just gonna send out our uh, fighting squads. All right, Tenchi, go get that gate. <clears throat> We're gonna leave Wolf Law on base defense. We'll send everybody else in. Level 35 now for these enemies. Preparing for combat. Go get him, Tenchi. Enemies actually trying to flank us. This is the first time they've ever tried this before. Ooh. 
Good dodge. Petrified. Good crit. Wolfle turned out to be a really good defensive unit. Another unit with a young dragon. I don't know why why we have young dragons with us. Good block. Another good block. Black Cat. Good dodge. All right, so watch for that attacking force. Couple flying units. Getting to the point now where it only takes two attacks to kill the leader. Found an item.
was pretty weak. <laughs> that, was, that was underwhelming. just to ensure we would get the unit. There's two flying mana, there's a black knight up ahead. Another demon, it looks like. One demon who's walking away from us for some reason. That was a critical block there. Didn't do much, but he still died. you go after this uh this guy here we'll see if coven can hold his ground against these two while sento moves up One unit. See if Coven can take the other one. He's just going to run away into Coven because that makes sense. Coven just has that one other unit coming up here to deal with. And I'm sure there's another demon somewhere over here. Off to the left. Coven to sleep. 
And they're set to attack leader, big shot. Good paralyzed. Put the rest of them to sleep. Or just put their damage dealers to sleep. That works too. Oh, we don't need to do that. I was going to use the Pedro there, but wasn't needed. All right, we'll have Sento head this way. We'll have Coven go with him. Tenchi's fine by himself. And when Magnus gets in here, we'll have Magnus go over where Tenchi's at. down. That's rude. how we roll. Yeah, my coffee's done. Okay. Oh no! Enemy unit spawning right before we reach the healing point. That's a shock. Wait, is this guy called Little John? Oh my god, a <laughs> critical hit of 48. <laughs> oh my god, oh that was funny. That dog was like, I'm gonna bite you. It was like a nibble. pretty funny. I want Sento to camp. <laughs> Probably want Coven to camp too, honestly. Uh oh. I saw I saw that too late. <laughs>
Good thing Tenchi's at work right now. Whoops, not that. Was there nowhere? Oh, well, I mean, I have uh, revived stuff. So we'll, we'll be fine. I've got items that can revive Tenchi. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Tenchi becomes a zombie on like one of the last levels of the game. Tenchi's died probably, I think, three times in this entire game. Colvin, go get him. Oh, shoot. He's only got 100 health. I wasn't paying attention. He won't do a hundred damage. Yeah. Oh, now he'll kill him, though. Whoops. Well, so much for Coven's unit. He still won. Unlike Tenchi. I think he's gonna go back to base and then withdraw. So we'll be able to we'll be able to, oh shoot. We'll be able to revive him. Um I needed that crit on somebody else. Hit the right person, hit the right person. That's the wrong person! Well, Sento's dead. Wait a minute, he didn't hit nearly as hard as he did Tenchi. Maybe it's because of Tenchi's armor. Maybe Sento's better at defending against. Oh, well, that would make sense, I guess. Guess we should have had Sento going after that. All right, we'll have him retreat. We don't need to let him rest because they resurrected at full health. Still on the OP trail, mate? Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if I'd call it OP anymore. Uh, we did just, we lost, just lost Coven. Tenchi died for the third time during this playthrough. The dog is now leaving.
Other than that, yes. I mean, we're still relatively OP. I mean, our skeletons are doing 100 damage, so. I just realized one of them has 36 health. I think we could use a healing item on that skeleton really quick. Even though the skeleton would still come back, we'll use a heal leaf on him. Just so he's not killed in the first round. Yeah, Tenchi died to the Sphinx. And then Coven died to a Crimson Dragon. I didn't realize the Crimson Dragon was going to get to go like twice immediately. And Sento gets a level up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, bust it. Gate destroyed. Oops. On the highway, the highway to the keep. He doesn't need to rest. Oh, wait. Well, I mean, he's going to be in the middle. He's also very tired, so... Or he's not going to be in the middle, he's going to be in the front. Magnus can take him. We'll send, we'll send Tenchi for his, like, third or fourth death. That's what we'll do. Good thing we got, like, 15 of those in total. And now I'm just now starting to use them. Not that we need Coven up here, but... Oh, good, good. It's, it's weak in the front row. Awesome. I mean, in the back row, that thing did over, like, 240 damage. But, of course, all of Tenchi's units would be low on uh, magic defense anywhere. So, another Heaven's Doll. We got Richard up here. Ooh, he's got two dragons. Together now. 
How cool would it be if Sento was strong? If we had two liches, I'm sure they'd be able to like wipe out the entire unit in one cast. That would be awesome to watch. Flame shield. health remaining. Well, now significantly more health remaining. Not for Europa, just slash dead. Proceed to break down the gate. Once more onto the breach. The siege took us a little over two hours of, of uh, in-game time. Oh good, Tenchi's done camping. Are there gonna be surprise units? Not now, Coven. Guess not. Don't have any surprise Templars coming out. I never have thought that you would fare this well against the Caligonous Order. Do you realize what it means to resurrect Danica? You're going to start the ogre battle and involve the entire world just so your goal can be attained? Haven't I told you enough that the end justifies the means? With the ultimate power, we will build a new, perfect world. Those who are superior cannot put their abilities to good use, while worthless fools reign only because of their lineage. Do you not think that it is wrong? I'm sure you already are aware. Perhaps it is wrong, but that doesn't mean you're right. 
just ju just because it is wrong doesn't mean you're right. Absolutely. But at the same time, it is difficult to practice ideals. While you seek a better path, the world continues to degrade. For the realization of ideals, those with power, absolute power, are essential. Power unattainable by mere humans. We are worthy of holding it. We will lead this world. Do you not understand? If you refuse to accept the truth, that is fine. Perish with your corrupt world. Does he have a blessed sword? Ooh, good block. Okay, not terribly hard hitting. Ooh, Petra. Because we have to use the Pedro. My new favorite one. Saved it just for him. Guard. Gu oh, I thought he was going to like guard every single one of them. Got him. Is this the end? No, not yet. If we can gain the ultimate power, then... What is with these guys and teleporting? Just let me kill you already. Just stand there and die. I'm not sure how to pronounce that sword, but I got a sword. Baldwin, why are you still here? Aren't you supposed to be at the ruins by now? What do you think you're doing? Go and break the seal. I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of you telling me what to do. Uh-oh. Stop being absurd and go get the ultimate pow- Tell me, what am I to you? You never change. You look down on me and others, thinking that you're superior. Thalmas took care of us since our father died, but you didn't care when he was killed. Not only that, but you used his death for your own end. Richard, I won't let you have the ultimate power. Everything will be mine. I will become a god. Oh, now we're too good for teleporting. Be strong. Live on your own, my dear brother. For you, I can... any... Okie doke. Cool. All right, let's see what we got that sword. Sword for Magnus? It is, but it's worse than what he's got now. Another comp com composite bow, composite bow. Oh my God. Just making sure there's nothing to, to nothing too equipped. I think we're good. All right. Mount Kirillet. Scene 41. The Sleeping Goddess.
Ruins of Caroleth. Yes, I can feel it's getting stronger. The same aura as our own, the power of our goddess. Baldwin, you must be feeling it as well. The awakening is near. Can this woman really resurrect Danica? Dot, dot, dot. Weren't you hurt because of this woman? Dot, dot, dot. No need to worry. Her mind is gone. The despair of losing her love has pushed her over the edge. That made my job easy. Now, she's merely my puppet. The bracer... Dog barking. The bracers are appro approaching. They'll reach our army in no time. Damn that kid. Aren't you supposed to break the seal? Where, where are you going? You wish to be awakened, Lady Danica. Please be patient. I'll be right there. Hurry. Summon our goddess with this sacred sword. And put the put the sword in your hand. Dot dot dot. Oh my lord. Naomi. Naomi, come here. Don't need to be barking at everything. What's wrong, Mary? You can't do it? That's impossible. Even if you don't know, your blood should. The power you inherited from him. The knowledge which encompasses both good and evil should tell you. The arcane words needed to communicate with the gods. Firmly grasp <laughs> it. Right, Rod? I don't know. But what? I have control over your mind. And even if I knew, I wouldn't do such a thing. That's it. Your time is over. I'll tell you everything. Listen to me, Mari. This isn't for us. It's for your father. What are you saying? I have no father. The reason why you were born. Your feelings toward Yummel. And the fact that you're here with me now. All these were according to your father's plan. This is the fate prepared for you by your father, who was the sage of Zetakina. The fate given to you, for you to follow, you understand now, don't you? Mari, you cannot escape your fate. My feelings, for Yamal, even that was planned? Yes, Mari, Yamal's destiny, his love for you, everything was planned beforehand. Don't go against your fate. This can't be. Not so much for fate. She's gonna break the seal anyway, isn't she? Like, here, I'm just gonna kill you and then I'll go do it. Yummel. Yummel. My lord. Hiya! It's not working. Maybe I should have left the other person alive. Please forgive me, Hummel. I'm sorry. Oh, she hit it just enough. Is that a leprechaun? It looks like a it looks like a leprechaun.
Magnus, are you all right? Is your heart not absorbed by hatred and sorrow? Are you able to control your anger? I'm okay, Destin. This will probably be our last battle. Don't lose to yourself. The last battle. Probably. <laughs> Let's get started. We'll start this campaign in Mersunni in the southwest. We will march to the ruins of Caroleth, two days to the northeast. We must capture Caroleth and prevent Danica's resurrection. This battle will determine the future of this land. All we can do is fight the best we can. No knowledge of where the enemy is, what they're planning, nothing. Okay. Deploy Tenchi and... That's it. Will this really be our last battle? If we present, pre pre if we present the resurrection, if we prevent the resurrection of Danica, Lotus's scheme, will our battle end there? Magnus, the battle is never over. I've been thinking lately, if I'm actually the one who's escalating this war, if I involved Yummel, this kingdom in this war, this war. Destin, the path that I've walked upon, the actions I took, was I right? Man does not live on his own. Everything in this world, living or not, affects each other. It's not that the world is changed only by you. You're just one of many factors that determine the course of the future. Magnus, don't look back. If you were wrong, just make sure you don't make the same mistake again. The past cannot be changed, but the future holds infinite possibilities, right? Let's go. We'll end this for a new beginning. Did he just tell Magnus he's actually worthless? In the grand scheme of things, no, Magnus. You very, you matter very little to this whole world. Take over the enemy headquarters. Or Magnus dies and we lose our base. That's it. The final mission. So is Destin says. It's our last chance, maybe, then, to liberate these towns. Get our score as high as we can. I'm, I'm going to be very curious to know what our chaos frame is at the end of this game. Okay. So we got 48. So we got do something for Dio. 39. Ooh, 39 would be for Ansvel. 80 for Tenchi. 81 for Tenchi. Or real, uh, mm, I don't know about, I don't know about, 81 for Tenchi for sure. I don't know about 80. 41 would be uh, for Dio. So Dio and Tenchi for sure have to go this way. Dio also has to take that town too. Dio's got to take a lot of towns. Dio's going to be very busy. 28 uh, will be Ansvel. So Sento and Ansvel are going to go north. Sententi to clear the way for everybody else, pretty much. Oopsie. We'll leave Wolflow at home to defend. And we'll send Coven, uh, let's send Coven north with Sento and Ansbell just in case. I think that's a good division of our forces. Nice crit, 232. Yeah, that wasn't 
terrible. And assuming this is the last mission, then when we're done with this, we'll basically be doing uh, we're doing a marble race to see what game we're going to play next. As well as uh, I'm going to roll a eight, uh, 1d8 to determine the game we're going to play because I still haven't I still haven't decided. I can't decide, so I put all the games that I kind of want to play, and I'm just going to re respect the results of the marble race plus uh, dice roll. And depending on what that game is going to be, or what that game is, if it doesn't really require much preparation, then we can start it uh, tonight. And if it requires preparation, then uh, we'll be doing it tomorrow. I also should really spend a little bit of time getting the rest of this playthrough uploaded on YouTube. Oh, Conan's got spooky ghosts. Unit lost. Resist it. Darn it. Good resist. Unit lost. Just what Tenchi needs, another level up. I hope Magnus is a high enough level for the boss. That would be rather unfortunate. Hundred and twenty one. Power down. Haha. -ha. Good dodge. Two hundred and twelve for a crit. Liberation. Oh, hey, I remember now. These were called the ruins of Danica. I heard she was entombed here. Oh, now you tell us. Boy, I'm glad you finally remembered that. At least we know we're in the, we're in the right place. units down. Good block. Darn it. Stop putting that knight to sleep.
There's a Darwas take that town, yeah. gonna try to put to sleep. Good block. Failed this time. No more putting people to sleep. He had a nice amount of health. For the record. Elder sign. Um, Ansel, you need to not... Not be the one to fight, please. Thank you. Okay. And now you can resume. Together now. Oh no, Cheyenne died again. Or no, wait, no, Cheyenne's not in the middle. Who's in the middle? Aqua is in the middle. Cheer that prod, Aquius is in the middle. <laughs> was in the middle. All right, let's have Sento go this way. Who? <laughs> Aqueous. You know my uncle. Liberation. It's our boy. The revival of the Queen of the Netherworld. Their purpose is clear. Ogre battle. Are they seeking revenge for what happened so long ago? Am I getting rain today? I don't think I'm getting rain today. I don't think it's supposed to rain today. Puppy's back. Now in the one spot we can't see her. She is. I think here it's just it's cool, but oh god. Oh, never mind. Whew. Take the Sphinx out before the Sphinx can take Tenchi out. <laughs> That's how Tenchi died in the last uh, on the last map. The Sphinx killed him. Ah. Uh. I mean, to, I mean to be to be honest, I kind of I kind of feel like we're at the point where we're waiting on Wolflo to be ready. I don't know if we're we we, ne we never really heard from uh, one of the other players that we're waiting on for like a schedule, or I don't know if you've heard what the schedule was. It's like we know if we could play or not, but I kind of figured at this point we're gonna wait for you know Wolflo to get settled in and then we'll. Kind of 
reboot from there. But yeah, we'll see tomorrow. I mean, I know my football team plays tomorrow. The Packers play. So I know I'll be kind of watching that game. I'll, I'd still be down for, you know, for D&D &D if we do play. I can easily watch it on a different monitor. I can multitask. Unlike some people. Pumpkins! Take the pumpkins out. Uh-oh. Nice crit. Ouch. Thankfully, he only gets to do that once. Uh, let's see, what are these towns? We got 80. See, I don't know about 80. I feel like I want to leave that town alone because I don't want to risk capturing it. He's got a camp. But, I mean, that would be Leia or Tenchi. But that's, like, borderline. I, I, I feel like I'm going to leave that town alone. I'm not going to do anything with it. Oop, that's going to be Anzabelle. Or Zanzabelle, I guess. We actually need Dio and Anzabelle to switch places right now. Oh, we got somebody coming at us. actually gonna have Tenchi walk past this guy because I don't want him to accidentally stop in the town and then uh, liberate it by mistake. Where's this guy going? Coven, go get him. Alright, Coven, you're up. Well, well, sort of. Once, once you catch up to him, then you're up. Nice crit. to do the thing after that. Darn it. I was going to use a Pedra. I wasn't fast enough. I didn't want to use it there because I thought like it would only target the Griffin and then it would have been wasted.
Nice crit. Beautiful. Good block. Preventing that 8 damage. That's why we wanted him to keep walking. Because <laughs> I feel like he's gonna. And he's borderline in range to take that town. Coven's gonna catch this guy. He definitely has enough to like keep going. Coven's gonna have to sleep at some point. Wolflow's defending the base, so it will be fine. With Wolflow's overpowered bow, nothing to worry about. Good block. Good crit. Tenchi's doing what Tenchi does best. Wipe out all the enemy units. Ooh, good dodge. Speaking of Tenchi... Good luck, Tenchi. In the back now. About that dog. Oh no! <laughs> I'm blocking it! <laughs> well, I guess we won't know what Tenchi rolled, huh? It's a 20 by default if it goes behind my camera. No. That's not how that works. Oops, that's not. That's also not how that works. But it, it is kind of in between a 10 and a 19. So. 19. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Last time we tried to reroll. It, it was ten, it's definitely a hit. So there, so there we go. It was definitely a hit. Ooh, an 8. I don't even know what I had for, have for an 8. I don't know what an 8 is right now. It might still be her dental stick, which I'd have to go get because I don't have it. Uh, I don't have that with me. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, she gets her dental stick. Okay, I'll go. I can go uh, grab that really quick. Whoops, I should probably, you know, end the fall a little. Yeah, she can uh, definitely have that at this point. She's gonna get up. She's gonna be like, "All right, I'm getting up." One second, I'll be right back. Can she have two a day? No, she can only have one a day. Or she's only supposed to have one a day. I usually give it to her at the... Um, uh, at night, but she can have it really... Oh, no, I have, I have a better idea. One second.
I have a better idea. I can give her her milk bone. A milk bone. A, a milk bone. There you go. It's like just as good. It's a, it's a big. It's a big treat. She didn't even move. Hold on, I got this. There we go. I'll stay out of the way. Food in bed? I'm jealous, right? Don't worry, I wash those sheets every week. <laughs> I also don't... Uh, I also have different sheets for when, like, actual people are over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So there we go. If it's in the afternoon, I can give her a milk bone when we roll an eight. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Actually, maybe what we should do is have Tenchi go down here. But when we liberate these towns, we'll have some defense. And then Magnus... It seems like Magnus can just go over here and wait for us to be done. Uh, hold up. Liberation. There we have it. I'm gonna move my chair again. There we go. A pain in the butt to move that chair. Danica, is Danica really that bad? Was, wasn't she Mother Bertha's daughter? There must be something behind all this. Now the bed covers are all wet from your slobber. Sorry, tomorrow is technically uh, washing bedding day, so. It'll get washed tomorrow. And my chair is starting to go down. Um, hydraulics aren't exactly the best on here anymore. All right, Wolflo. Unfortunately, Coven was not fast enough. Wolflo is our base defense. Good dodge. Another good dodge. That should that should kick him back into Coven. And Coven's asleep! <laughs> Coven's asleep, no! Still won. Now watch him not watch this unit get knocked into my base, wipe out the defenders, and we lose. Almost. Like watch watch Coven knock him back into the base where I have all my weak characters right now because Wolf Low is out of the base, and then we lose the map and we have to start over.
Now, now it looks like my dog had an accident in this bed. <laughs> now it looks like she peed in the bed. <laughs> oh my god. one of the towns uh, alone we're not gonna we're not gonna liberate one of them because I'm not I don't want to accidentally capture it hey why is everybody gathering here huh queen of the netherworld is entombed here say what I'm sorry, I got lost. All right, who's the boss? Uh, second thought, since we are fighting Templars, let's uh, move Tenchi up as well. Because, you know, they love to have those surprise units in the stronghold. And it is Baldwin here, so I'm sure there's two Templars that are going to spawn right here. sent over as well. Liberation. You gotta hear this story. I saw an old lady wearing some weird robes leading a little girl in the direction of the ruins. Some guy tried to stop them and was turned into stone. There must be something. I'm sorry, turned into stone? Dio is going to take this village. Three units are going to spawn right here and kill Dio before I can kill the boss. So what am I supposed to do now? Well, you can go stand up with Magnus and Tenchi. The three strongest units in the game. supposed to do now actually will Baldwin uh, or yeah let's let's do this make this simple on us game hasn't moved the leader of the unit like ever so he we know he's in the back row so let's just move him to the front so that we can kill him quicker Danica, Queen of the Netherworld, offspring of Mother Bertha? How could that be? Unless he's going to turn.
No? Okay. I'm fine with that. So we're well rested. Now this should be a quick battle. And possibly our last battle according to Destiny. Oh good, Ansville got home. Alright, let's finish this. Oh god, you're trying new classes in Baldur's Gate. It's going nowhere. <laughs> I still haven't even bought the game yet. I don't know when I'm gonna buy it. Damn, Bracers. Why do you keep interfering with my plan? Your scheme ends here. Danica will not be resurrected. Don't get me wrong. There's no need to worry about Danica. I broke the seal solely to be blessed by her, so that I gain the ultimate power, and then I will kill a god. I'll kill Danica. You even intend to use the Queen of the Netherworld? Kill the goddess Danica? Do you truly believe such a thing can be done? Don't forget, Danica is only a demigoddess. I doubt that she's immortal. I will become a legend and be remembered as, a, remembered as a god. Well, actually, you would be a demigod, too. Man can never be a god. The ultimate power isn't meant for humans. It will only create chaos. You don't get it, do you? I will use my power to eliminate chaos. When confronted with the impossible, people can accept the existence of a god. I'll gain the ultimate power, exceeding my human capacity and that of the darkness. I'll become a god. I believe that since ancient times, heroes and gods were born like this. Rejoice! A new hero is born from the ashes of your dead. Except joke's on you, because now you're in the front row. Get him, boys! GG. <laughs> and done. Oh my god, he's not dead yet. Ultimate power is mine. Dang that teleport. Like, what happened here? <laughs> Shit, damn it all. I'm almost there. The ultimate power awaits me. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> She's a Gorgon. Who's crawling on the ground? Oh, okay. Uh, the time has come for Lady Danica. Awake, finally, this world, our goddess. And then Zeta died. Who are you? Oh, she is a leprechaun. She's got the little, like, leprechaun hat and everything. Woman, you won't have it. The ultimate power is mine. Yum. My goddess Danica, I am the one who awakened you. Bless me. Like, you just got here, dude. <laughs> Grant me the ultimate power. I awakened you. No, it was all these other people that you just murdered. No, stop. She didn't like him at all. Yummel? No. You're not Yummel. Who are you?
I am Danica, daughter of a human king and the goddess of the earth. I was once known as a goddess of fertility a long time ago. Danica, queen of the netherworld. You too call me by that name. I know you, though not well. Within me lies another who knows you. The color of your hair and your eyes. Are you... Are you Yummel? It all started with a mistake. After being enticed by Desmuda, Des, De, Demudzda, king of the netherworld, into eating the fruit of the netherworld, my mother put me in a deep sleep so I would not succumb to the infernal aura. My soul was separated from my body, and I went into a deep slumber. I was never to awaken unless I was summoned, as long as people did not want me to return as a god. A man who yearned for my power, his heart woke me. I want power. He yearned for power to protect his beloved. I gave him my blessing my power, and demanded reparation, to offer me a vessel so that I can fully awaken. A vessel? As I made contact with his feelings, I felt my own loneliness. My heart was filled with sorrow. I could not bear to be alone. My desire to reawaken being strong, I demanded a vessel to hold my soul. I don't know what happened to him after the covenant was made, except the person you hold close to your heart was the vessel, the child of the covenant. The sword, the token of the covenant, accepted his blood, and my knights obeyed his commands. When his heart came down to me, I felt him, I felt his deep sorrow. I did not want to wake up, I was filled with unbearable sadness. He has been suffering by himself. It's all Magnus's fault too, though he's not dead yet. Damn it, why, this is it. No, I won't accept this. I won't forget, damn him, I will, the world. Silence. Uh-oh. My goddess, grant me power. Have mercy. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> like we, we got places to be here. We, is this, this going to take much longer? I won't accept it. The ultimate power is mine. Be one with the gods. Ah, uh, the ultimate power. Our world. This land. What have I, what have I done? No, you mustn't be awakened. I wanted, accept. Fools, all is plan. I wanted to stay the... It's going too fast. The day. No, the text is too fast. Brother, my brother. Why is that my blood? Afraid. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> too consumed by infernal... She's being consumed by the infernal aura. That's what's happening here. You don't remember this ending at all, Dark? I don't remember this ending at all. I don't remember this. Um... All living beings worship me. We didn't make it in time. Damn it. Uh-oh. 500?
A healer! No! Oh my god, I just lost my healer! Oh my god. This isn't good. Maybe I should have had a resurrecting thing on uh, on Magnus. Um. <laughs> so do you think she'll wait while I go back? And what the hell? Uh oh. Um. Well, I think I made a mistake. Uh... So Magnus has no healer. Um... Because I used, used... Oh, I didn't think about using my Pedras. Yeah, maybe I could have. Uh, okay, so... Oh, look at this! Never mind, we're fine. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to change our formation. So each of those parts seems to be doing a cast. Let's put Magnus in the front, move her to the side... We'll keep her there, that way they're not doing too much damage to Magnus. They may, like, hit her for a lot, but... Kind of... Defend our healer a little bit. One moment. Works, uh... What are you barking at? You don't, don't, even, you don't even lick my watch. Leave it alone. Just chill there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to leave like that. Um, let's just make sure people are healed. Right at, right at good. Well, except for him. Okay, let's use a heal leap on him. We'll have Magnus just go straight for the boss. Nope, nope, mm -mm. You're not going back out there to bark. She's gonna go out there. She's gonna go back out there and bark. All right, let's have, oh, nope, she's gonna go right there. Okay, we're gonna have him go straight for the boss. Uh, we'll have Sento and Tenchi try and intercept these guys. Good girl. Oh my god, there's three units there. There's only two there. Okay, there's our plan. We're gonna have Magnus just cross that. Okay, they're all going for Tenchi and Sento. Okay. So we should we should be okay. Boss only has like a hundred health left. All right, this is better. That's better. Okay, take her out in one one turn. One turn, get her. And a boy. All that, all that, all that extra planning. All we had to do was brush her. <laughs> congratulations. You don't get anything, but congratulations.
didn't kill her. Son of man, I thank you for stopping me. Please wait, tell me one thing. Were you truly queen of the netherworld? Both good and evil reside within my heart, and as both god and human, I continually sway between the two sides. I become the queen of the netherworld when my heart is filled with hatred, and peace of mind makes me the god of fertility. Which side I take depends on the, consequ uh, the consciousness that emanates from this world. Do you realize I am just like you? Way of the darkness. Both you and the denizens of the netherworld share the same origin. Humans live on fertile lands, while the ogres live in the wastelands, controlled by hatred. That is the only difference. You are even more unstable than I. You are human and ogre at the same time. That is why it is possible for the ogre battle to occur without the influence of the netherworld, as humans fight among themselves and hate each other. Son of man, it is not by accident that Yummel was selected as my vessel. This was all planned by someone with formidable power. Be careful. He, the creator of chaos, is born of this land. The ogre battle cannot be avoided. Wait, so we're not done yet? Layers, it's, it's onions, oh god. Be careful, son of man. So we're not done yet? Bye. Never done just like laundry. I actually have to get my laundry. It's probably done by now. Farewell, Magnus. I'm working on laundry today, too. But I put a load in that was going to take a while. Yummel. Dot, dot, dot. This battle is over. But the war. No, I'm kidding. The war has just started. Magnus. Are you... I, I knew you'd be here. Oh, God. You're thinking about Yummel, aren't you? Not to say you should forget him. I think that's impossible. He's not here anymore. You are, though. I know you understand. The peace you've won. His dream is here, now. Those who followed you and fought with you are here. I enjoyed your company. Thanks for everything. We're heading back to Zenobia to inform our king of what happened. I'm sorry to say, but I believe war with Lotus is inevitable. I don't know what our king will say, but I promise you that we'll return. What will you do now? You're pretty quiet. Do you want to come with us? I... We'll stay in Platinus. This kingdom is in pain. Many were lost, and the land has been trampled by war. I'm going to put my energy into rebuilding this kingdom. I don't know what I can do, but I'll do the best I can. To make this place where people can live peacefully and exercise their beliefs. Saradin has said this to me often. Man has a responsibility to make the most of his talents and abilities. Believe in yourself, Magnus. There's nothing you can't do. I'm looking forward to seeing the new Platinus. Your kingdom. Destin, can you tell me about fate? 
do we have no control over it? Did Yummel have to follow his fate that was predestined for him? Don't be mistaken, Magnus. He didn't submit to his fate. He accepted his fate. And what's more, he lived for all he was worth. To some, their fates are decided at birth, but the outcome isn't important. What's important is how each person lives his life, you must remember. His courage, his determination to fight against his fate. Bye. Half year after the Revolutionary War. Frederick Raskin, the leader of the revolution, succeeded the throne and sustained the kingdom of Platinus. King Frederick governed the kingdom not for himself, but for the people. Because he never sat on the throne, and his policies reflected the will of the people. He later became known as King Frederick the Benevolent. A few years later, in the great battle that shook the entire continent, King Frederick met with an untimely death. Upon his death, the rule of Platinus was given to a man who was the late king's right-hand man. Surely he gave it to Sento, right? Gunther Pediment. Hurry up, Troy. Right? Surely he gave the thing to the Lich to rule, right? Hurry up, Troy. Get moving. Don't be so hasty, father. Jeez, wait, you're a zombie? She, she's supposed to be a zombie. Sorry, Katrata. I gotta go now. Take care, Troy. So they hooked up after the war, evidently. Wenny, capital of Platinus. I'm sorry for calling you back to battle. Sorry for calling you back to battle. Come on, don't think so badly about it. We're all concerned about it. Besides, if I can be of help, I can't just sit and watch. Right, Moretta? Yeah, Hugo, you worry too much. Don't you think it's about time you retired and let us take care of things? Huh, Liddell? Lydell, whatever. Since when did you people get along so well? I didn't even notice until now. You think so? Maybe we got a lot in common. I don't know. I never thought about that. I'm trying to like read all this as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not able to control this. This is all just going forward. Outskirts of the Holy Lotus Empire. We'll continue north from here, Vad. I entrust you with the South. Leave it to me. Destin, he is coming with his comrades. Wenny, capital of Platinus. King Frederick's death will be deeply mourned. We must not let our hearts be filled with hatred. You must not forget. Your true adversary lies within yourself. It's your weakness of heart, your negative emotions. 
Remember your parents who loved you. Remember those whom you love. Don't ever lose sight of your humanity, your kindness. Everybody, let's go. We will win our future. Magnus Gallant, the Palladian King. For his valor in defending the continents of Zetagena and Galicia from invasion of the Eastern Barbarian tribes. And for practicing the Republican policies of his predecessor. He will be remembered as a great king in both strength and wisdom. His legacy will be carried on by his son, Prince Anis Gallant. Ogre Battle 64. That was good. I never really remembered then. Of course, I've never actually seen uh, the ending. Like, I've never seen, like, the good ending. I'm assuming that was the good ending. <laughs> but wait, I'm supposed to be able to see my score, aren't I? Like, isn't it supposed to, like... Maybe it's, like, after all of this. Maybe after, like, the credits, it'll show me my score. Right? What can I... I think it's supposed to be at the end. I know it's supposed to show you at some point. But that was good. I had a lot of fun with that. So once this is all done here... Oh. oh, okay. Once this is all done here and we actually get to see my score, I'm probably going to... Well, I'm, I'm going to be calling the stream, but before we do that, uh, I'm going to fire up marbles on stream and we're going to figure out what game we're going to play next. Because I have like a list of games that I want to play, but I can't really like decide on one, so I'm just going to let marbles and... A dice roll decide. So I'll explain how that's all going to work in a little bit. Then I'll take a break, go get some dinner, and depending on what game we're going to play, if I need, like, like for example, if Banner Lord gets chosen, I have to get, uh, I have to get mods ready. So I'm going to need to, um, I'm going to need to, like, spend time doing that. So depending on the game, we'll either start it tonight or we'll start it tomorrow afternoon. Lots of pets while we're watching the credits. Right? What happens if I hit something? If I hit what if I hit the start button? I don't wanna like I don't wanna like miss it though, that's the problem. Okay, hitting start did nothing. <laughs> I guess we gotta wait. Yeah, I don't know if I, uh, I wonder, I wonder if we could have beat her in one if I would have used my, uh, my Pedra. But I thought we were, in, I thought we were in serious trouble once I lost my healer like that. I thought we were in trouble. But we did kind of make the right decision, because, I mean, Magnus got knocked backward. And then all those enemies, like, five enemy units spawned. We would have had to either fight them or like try to rush through them. Oh, that would have been, that would have been horrible. Super Mario Club? Wait, what? Earthbound next, please. The, the only reason I don't want to do Earthbound next is because we have, we do have some things that are coming up and uh, I don't want to, I don't want to play too, like, an older game right after the next. So I do want to play something else and before we actually get into Earthbound. We are still doing Earthbound this year, don't worry. All right, we can see my score. The end. Where's my score? How good did I do?
Ooh, here we go. Chaos frame. A hundred perfect score. Total sixteen hundred and seventy seven days. We got a perfect score, everybody. Look at that. A hundred points. And we still we still captured a couple of towns by mistake, so that's good. It's fantastic.